Hey everyone, Cali Gold here again. I'm going to go ahead and make a video series on trains for absolute beginners and satisfactory. I've been using trains quite a bit now. I think there's a lot of people that could probably benefit from another set of videos, a different way to look at it. Trains and Satisfactory are perhaps the most important aspect of the game. I think it's really that thing that takes the game to the next level, makes it truly unique and fun. What do trains do? Trains move things from one place to another. Basically as simple as that, right? Conveyors move things from one place to another. Trucks move things from one place to another. You can move things from one place to another. Trains move things from one place to another. Okay. Why should you use trains? Trains can move large quantities of things quickly over short or vast distances and it does it in a really good way a much more reliable way they are much more reliable and easier to manage than vehicles and unlike vehicles you can ride inside of them during their route so that's a very important feature as well they prevent conveyor spaghetti hell conveyors we just think is great because it doesn't use any electricity they start to break down as you use them more later into the game. I never use conveyors between factories. That's a rule for me. I don't use conveyors between factories. I only use conveyors within factories, but never between. So what are my options between factories if I'm not going to use conveyors? Trains is the way to go. Trains make that possible. Trains can also move liquids and gases. So the thing you need to understand that I'd like to communicate with you is when it comes to vehicles, in using vehicles instead of trains, I have done a complete build of vehicles. In fact, the one you're looking at here, you see those streets? That used to be vehicles. I took vehicles as far as I could take it. They are extremely unreliable. I had to make gas stations for them as well because they need fuel. I used up a lot of fuel that could have been used for power so that they could get around on their paths. If you're going to just drive a vehicle around, fine, but creating macros for a mass amount of vehicles to emulate a city, which is what I wanted to do, it's not worth it. And it's got a lot of bugs, at least in experimental it does. The bugs start to show themselves later. When you record a lot of macros, weird things happen later on when you really push the vehicles. I got rid of all the vehicles and I just going with trains. I do not recommend vehicles in mass using macros they're too unreliable this is more benefits about trains uh, they only need one source of electricity for the entire network one source of, you can hook up one train station to elect your grid and that's it you never need to do it again in fact all your other train stations throughout the map you could tap off of those and use it for electricity your network is your power line your tracks hold power you can use the train station to connect power poles you can also use your hover pack to move around on the train tracks when you have a hover pack. Another benefit of trains is they can be used for personal transport and storage around the map. You can create train stations that are private train stations with storage and just uh, have your own personal train and get around the map on your train. Just set your locations and I'll show you all those things about setting locations stuff like that in the future. You can use you can use one of the big benefits is you can just have your own private train and private stations scattered around the map and just go from one to the other as you need. As you need. You don't need hyper tubes or any Anything like that just use your train network okay uh, one last thing about benefits of train I probably missed something is that they just look cool that's an that's another thing they really look good they just take your game to the next level uh, the only disadvantages that I see for uh, is that newer players can be afraid to use them of course of course of course I waited for as long as possible can totally understand it took me a while to get in the mood to tackle trains I think the thing that most people are concerned with first is probably like they see people with you putting down tracks and then they put down signals train signals that's probably the thing that scares people the most it did for me well if that's true then let's get that out of the way the first video coming up after this one I am going to include signals on how signals work. So we're going to do segments, track segments, signals, train directions, and stations. I'll set it all up for you in the first video, kind of a quick start guide. But if but you have to understand how signals work. Otherwise, nothing else matters. So let's do it first. Let's do it first. So I'm going to go very basic on the first video, and we'll tie some stations together, and uh, I'll show you how that works. Okay. So the first video will be a quick start. Okay. So that's it for today. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.